शांति मुरली डेट ट्वेंटी एट्थ नवम्बर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री एसेंस स्वीट चिल्ड्रेन दिस नॉलेज इज बटर एंड डिवोशन इज बटर मिल्क द फादर गिवस यू द बटर इन द फॉर्म ऑफ दिस नॉलेज एंड मेक्स यू इन टू द मास्टर्स ऑफ द वर्ल्ड दिस इज वाई दे शो बटर इन द माउथ ऑफ श्री कृष्णा क्वेश्चन हाउ कैन यू रिकग्नाइज सम वन हुज इंटलेक्ट हैज फेथ वॉट अटेनमेंट इज देयर ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ फेथ फर्स्ट पॉइंट द चिल्ड्रेन हुज इंटलेक्ट हैव फेथ आर द ट्रू मोथ्स who surrender themselves to the flame not those who simply circle around only those who surrender themselves to the flame enter the kingdom those who simply circle around become part of the subjects second point the promise of the children whose intellects have faith is even in the most adverse situations even in the most adverse situations i will not let go of my religion their intellects have true love and so they forget all their bodily relation religions and their bodies and stay in remembrance of the father song leave your throne of the sky and come down to earth om shanti god speaks the incorporeal supreme father is called god who said god speaks that incorporeal supreme father the supreme soul the incorporeal father sits here and explains to you incorporeal souls you incorporeal souls listen with the physical organs of your bodies a soul is not called male or female a soul is called a soul the soul himself says through these organs i live one body and take another all human beings are brothers as children of the incorporeal supreme father the supreme soul you are brothers and when you become the children of prajapita brahma you are brothers and sisters constantly continue to explain this to everyone god is the protractor the one who gives devotees the fruit of their devotion the father explains I alone am the bestower of salvation for all. I become the teacher of all of you and give you shrimat and then I am also the sadguru of everyone. He doesn't have a father, teacher or guru. The father not Shri Krishna is the one who teaches you the ancient raj yoga of bharat the father not shri krishna is the one who teaches you the ancient raj yoga of bharat shri krishna cannot be called the father he is said to the to be the prince of heaven who has divine virtues 
only the one is called the purifier and the bestower of salvation. All souls are now unhappy, impure and corrupt. Bharat itself is divine and elevated in the golden age. When it then becomes a corrupt, devilish kingdom, everyone says, O purifier, come. Come and establish the kingdom of Rama. Therefore, it is now the kingdom of Ravan. People burn Ravan, but none of the scholars, teachers or pundits know what Ravan is. The golden age and the silver age are the kingdom of Rama. Whereas the copper age and the iron age are the kingdom of Ravan. The day of Brahma is the day of the Brahma Kumars and Kumaris. The night of Brahma is the night of the Brahma Kumars and Kumaris. The night is now to end. And the day is to come. It is remembered there are those who have non-living intellects at the time of destruction. There are also the three armies. The Supreme Father is called the Most Beloved God. The Father, the Ocean of Knowledge. So, he must surely be giving you this knowledge. He is the living seed of the world. He is the supreme soul. That is, he is God, the highest on high. It isn't that he is omnipresent. To say that he is omnipresent is to defame the father. The father says, By being defamed, there has been defamation of religion and Bharat has become poverty-stricken and corrupt. I have to come at such a time. Bharat itself is my birthplace. The Somnath temple and the temple of Shiva are here. I make my birthplace into heaven and then Ravan makes it into hell. This means that by following the dictates of Ravan, people have become residents of hell, the devilish community. Then I change them and make them elevated and into the divine community. This is an ocean of poison and that is the ocean of milk. Rivers of ghee flow there. In the golden and silver ages, Bharat was constantly happy and solvent and there were places of diamonds and jewels. Bharat is now 100% insolvent. I alone come and make it 100% solvent and elevated. People have now become so corrupt that they have forgotten their divine religion. The father sits here and explains. The path of devotion is buttermilk and the path of this knowledge is butter. They show butter in the mouth of Sri Krishna. That means he had the kingdom of the world. Lakshmi and Narayan were the masters of the world. The father himself comes and gives you the unlimited inheritance that is he makes you into the masters of the world. He says, I do not become the masters of, master of the world. 
if i were to become the master i would then also have to be defeated by maya you are the ones who are defeated by maya so you then have to gain victory you are trapped in the five vices i am not i am now making you worthy of living in a temple the golden age is a big temple and it is called shivalaya and it is established by shiva the iron age is called a brother all our wishes the father now says renounce the religions of bodies consider yourselves to be souls and remember me your father you children now have love for the father you don't remember anyone else you are those who have loving intellects at the time of destruction you know that only the supreme father the supreme soul is called shri shri 108 they turn the beads of the rosary of 108 up above is you baba then the mother and father brahma and saraswati and then their children who make bharat pure the rosary of rudraksh has also been remembered this is called the sacrificial fire of rudra this is also such a big imperishable sacrificial fire of knowledge in which the horse is sacrificed to receive self sovereignty it has been continuing for so many years all the innumerable religions are to be sacrificed into this sacrificial fire because only then will this sacrificial fire end this is the imperishable sacrificial fire of imperishable baba everything material is to be sacrificed into this children ask when will destruction take place oh those who establish something then have to sustain it this is shiv baba's chariot shiv baba is the charioteer in this but there aren't any horse chariots etc here they have just sat and made up paraphernalia for the path of devotion baba says i take the support of this matter the father explains at first there is unadulterated devotion but it then becomes completely adulterated by the end of the iron age then the father comes and gives the butter to bharat you are studying to become the masters of the world the father comes and feeds you butter butter milk begins in ravan's kingdom all of these matters have to be understood new children cannot understand these things only the supreme father the supreme soul is called the ocean of knowledge the father says no one on those paths of devotion can find me only when i come do i give the devotees the fruit of their devotion i become the liberator i remove their sorrow and take them to the land of peace and the land of happiness 
an intellect with faith leads to victory and an intellect with doubts leads to destruction the father is the flame some moths completely surrender themselves whereas others simply circle around and go away they don't understand anything children who surrender themselves know that they truly receive the unlimited inheritance from the unlimited father those who simply circle around and go away will then become part of the subjects number wise those who surrender themselves claim their inheritance number wise according to the efforts they make the reward received is according to the efforts made only the one father is the ocean of knowledge this knowledge then disappears you would have then received salvation there are no gurus etc in the golden and silver ages everyone now remembers their father because he is the ocean of knowledge he grants salvation to everyone the cries of distress end and there is a joy of victory you know the beginning middle and the end of the world you have now become trikaldarshi and trinetri you are now receiving all the knowledge of the creator and the beginning the middle and the end of the creation this is not a tall story the gita is spoken by god but they have falsified it by inserting krishna's name you children now have to benefit everyone you are the shiv shakti army it is remembered salutations to the mother salutations are given to those who are pure when a kumari is pure everyone bows down to her as soon as she goes to her in-laws and becomes impure she continues to bow down to everyone everything depends on purity bharat had a pure household religion it is now an impure household religion there is nothing but sorrow it is not like that in the golden age the father brings heaven on the palms of his hands for you children while living at home you can claim your inheritance of liberation in life from the father there is no question of leaving your homes and families the path of isolation of the sanyasis is separate you now make these promises to the father baba i will definitely become pure and become a master of the pure world and whatever happens i will never leave my religion donate the five vices so that you are freed from the eclipse of maya and you will then become 16 celestial degrees full in the golden age there are 16 celestial degrees full fully viceless you now have to follow shrimat and once again become like that god is the lord of the poor wealthy ones are unable to take this knowledge because they think that because they have a lot of wealth etc they are now sitting in heaven this is why only the innocent the weak 
and those with stone intellects take this knowledge bharat is poor among them too the father only makes those who are ordinary and poor belong to him only they have it in their fortune the example of sudhama is remembered the wealthy don't have time to understand these things some daughters used to go to rajendra prasad former president of india they told him know the unlimited father and you will become worth a diamond do this seven days course he used to say yes what you say is very good i will take the course after i have retired when he retired he said i am now ill eminent people don't have time only when they first complete the seven days course can they have the intoxication of becoming narayan they cannot be colored just like that it is only after seven days that you can tell whether someone is worthy or not if he is worthy he will become busy making effort to study unless someone is very firmly colored in the furnace bhatti the color fades as soon as he goes outside and this is why you first have to color them very firmly acha to the sweetest beloved long lost and now found children love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father bab dada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children essence for dharana first point become a shiv shakti and benefit the world on the basis of purity change human beings who are worth shells and make them worth diamonds according to shrimat donate the vices and become fully viceless 16 celestial degrees full become the moths who surrender themselves to the flame blessing may you become a powerful soul an embodiment of remembrance while overcoming adverse situations by considering them to be sight scenes because souls who are embodiments of remembrance are powerful they consider adverse situations to be games no matter how big the situations may be for powerful souls all of those are sight scenes on the path of their destination people actually spend money to go and see the sight scenes for powerful souls who are embodiments of remembrance whether you call it an adverse situation a paper or an obstacle all of them are sight scenes you are aware that you have passed those sight scenes on the way to your destination countless times it is nothing new slogan instead of correcting others make a connection with the father and you will continue to experience blessings om shanti sweet elevated versions of mateshwari there is no benefit in just chanting the mantra of om and om means 
to sing this constantly when we say the word om it does not mean that we have to say it out loud there is no benefit in life by simply saying om therefore by being stable in the meaning of om and by knowing the meaning of that word om human beings can have peace in their lives definitely want to have peace and they have many conferences to establish peace that peace however the result seen is that there is great peacelessness and causes of sorrow the main reason is that there cannot po- possibly be peace on earth until human beings have destroyed the five vices so first every human being has to control their five vices and connect the strings of their souls to the supreme soul only then can there be peace so let each person ask the self i have i destroyed the five vices in me have i made the effort to conquer conquer them if i ask how can i control the five vices in me show them this method first of all give the dhoop fragrance from incense sticks of this knowledge and yoga then together with that tell them the elevated versions of the supreme soul connect the yoga of your intellects to me take power from me by your remembering me the almighty authority god the vices will continue to be removed we now have to make this much spiritual endeavor that god himself comes and teaches us god himself comes and teaches us acha om shanti thank you baba thank you